I wish you could see the framing of my shot right now. It looks so good and I have the window all the way open so it's bringing all of this light onto in my face. <laughs> Your beautiful smiling face. Yeah, it's bringing out probably all of my most disgusting pores. <laughs> So welcome, friends. Hello, We're, friends. Hello, friends. My name is Mark. And, and I'm David. That's David. And together, we are starting a new podcast, YouTube channel, slash all things awesome, um, called Be Creative, Think Creative. And we're going to get into sort of what, what our, our mindset is and what we want this channel and podcast to be about, um, a little bit about who we are and why the heck you should care about what we have to say, if you do care, I guess. And... Uh, and go from there. So David, why don't you introduce yourself first? Intro self. What am I talking about? Just start. <laughs> <laughs> English, Mark. English. English, please. I'm working on it. Uh, so my name is David Kirshner. I'm a somewhat professional photographer. Um, I, mostly I mostly specialize in portraits, um, concert photography, but I also do a lot of landscape, cityscape photography, and I sell them as prints. And uh, I have some experience in Photoshop, Lightroom, uh, Adobe Premiere, all that kind of stuff. Nice. That was very informative. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was I but, supposed to go into more detail? No, I don't. I don't know. We're we're. Uh, I think that was great. I think you said everything that needed to be said. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, my name is Mark Cashin. I am not embarrassed to say that I am extremely brand new. As in, like, I got my first real camera, um, other than my iPhone, three weeks ago, and it was a. Uh, you know, just straight out of being bored. I needed a new hobby, um, being quarantined like everybody else. I needed something to do. And, and David, you and I have known each other for a while now. We, we played in a band together and I always knew you were into photography and seeing some of your prints, you know, got me inspired to take a look and see, see what this was all about. So, um, got my first camera a couple, couple weeks ago. Um, and just really started diving deep and getting lost in that YouTube sort of wormhole of like tutorials and how to do this in Lightroom and all that stuff. And I just loved it, man. And started taking pictures and shooting some video and um, just seeing everything that I can learn, you know, as fast as I can learn. That's sort of, my wife will tell you, that's my, one of my major flaws is that like when I find something I like doing, I just go head first into it and it's like consumes everything. So, um, Brand new to photography and cinematography, but but I will be, you know, this is this is what I, I want to spend my time learning about. So I'm excited to dive into it and and learn from you, David, uh, and learn from you know the other people we get to talk to. And 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 part of this podcast and part of this YouTube channel is going to be talking to other photographers and, and cinematographers and, and finding out how they do things and what gear they use because everybody loves gear and I'm a big gear nerd. Um, and, and, you know, tutorials for beginners and, and all that stuff, which we'll get into more. But that's that's basically my story is I'm learning right along here with the other people who are, are watching and listening who are brand new, which I think is kind of cool. Um, so, you know, you don't just have two two professionals. You know, David's a pro, but uh, we're not going to be talking over your heads because he's got to explain it to me and I don't know what the heck I'm doing. So, <laughs> That's and another thing that we I also want to emphasize is that even though I've been doing this for a while, I'm still learning some stuff as well. Like along the way that I basically through this journey of whatever we're doing, um, I'm going to be learning a ton of stuff. Like last weekend, we, we went out shooting in uh, the Inner Harbor, which was 
very interesting because technically Baltimore City is still under the stay-at-home order, but <laughs> there was just so many people out with one barely social distancing and also not wearing masks, which was like, okay, I guess um, I guess we're doing this. Yeah. Um, but uh, what was interesting was when we used a lot of gimbal shots. And I have I don't have a whole lot of experience filming with a gimbal, so you actually had to teach me how to properly balance the gimbal and things of that nature. <laughs> so I was like, "All right, so the grasshopper is teaching me things now." There you go. Well, one thing out of a hundred, and then the rest of the day was like, "David, what what do I do? With, how do I change this? How do I? Why is this blurry? <laughs> how do I fix that? Why why does this look like garbage?" <laughs> like, so. Uh, but I, I think that's what's really cool is that, you know, be, because you do photography and, and you've shot like professional touring artists and you, you sell stuff like you get paid to do this. Like there are things that you are really, really good at and I'm going to learn so much. So no pressure from you. <laughs> but um, like I said before, one of the things that I maybe it's a flaw, maybe it's a drawback, but one of the things that I. I just know about myself is whenever I find something that I'm really interested in, it's like all I think about. So, you know, very quickly I will be like learning all of these things and hopefully like I'll find something that, you know, I can help the audience and, and help you, David, like the, um, you know, w working with the Ronin SC, we just picked that up and, you know, we're going to talk about all the gear we use and we're going to do all that stuff. So we're not going to get too into that now, but like, you know, learning from each other and teaching each other, I think is going to be really cool because, and correct me if I'm wrong, man, but like part of my thinking for this is we're building a community of photographers and, and videographers, cinematographers, and just people who love camera gear and other tech, you know, we're not just going to talk about cameras, but building a community of people who can learn from each other. It's not just going to be me and David talking over you, like, you know, learn from us. We're awesome. So, um, that's what I'm looking forward to is like learning from, from everybody who, who listens and watches. Yeah, absolutely. And like, like I said before, we're, we're going to be learning stuff together as we go along this journey of like, you know, making content together and just like, I think we were talking about how, um, um, how we were going to set up our first video. And then you asked me, what exactly is this column in Lightroom right here? And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, actually. I <laughs> never use it. Right. And that's something that something I also want to emphasize is like just because we do things in a certain way doesn't necessarily mean that's the correct way to do it. It's a different method to achieve the same goal. So whether you work in Lightroom more or you work in Photoshop more, you're you're doing different things to achieve the same goals. And that's kind of the cool thing about like photography and cinematography is that there's really no right way to do it. I mean, there's rules you technically have to follow, but you, you can learn these things, but you can find what works for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I remember, I forget who said it, but I remember like listening to a, a photography podcast and because I'm a nerd, this is what I said. And uh, they were saying like, once you know the rules, then you can break them knowing what's gonna happen. Like, like for me as a brand new beginner, right? Like, you know, if I don't know what ISO is and I just crank it all the way up, I might think like, hey, look how bright this is. This looks awesome. And not really understand what else it's doing to the image or, um, you know, diving into like the different lenses and, and what, you know, how to get that really cool blurry background everybody talks about and like how to, ch what adding contrast doesn't just change the contrast, it adds different things. So like once you know the particular rules, rules and air quotes, and you can, if you're watching the video, air quotes, like then when you break them, you kind of expect what's gonna happen. And that that's what's the creative part of things, which is really cool. So I break them by accident because I just don't know enough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but getting to that point where I know, okay, if I do this, this is what's going to happen. It may not be technically correct, but it's going to look badass. Like that's, that's <laughs> yeah. really 
the creative cool part of what I'm excited about. Um, yeah, absolutely. So David, I mean, you know, not getting too carried away because we want to save some information for like, you know, like teasers. What are they? Cliffhang- cliffhangers, right? Um, uh, teasers. Teaser. Cliffhangers. Yeah, cliffhangers is like you're ending something with uncertainty. Like the old school, like the old school Batman episodes oh, from like shit. the 60s. <laughs> like with, with the like Adam. Bam and with, yeah. <laughs> with like Adam West and yeah. uh, I, I forget what the rest of the guy's name, no names idea. are. But. Who cares? <laughs> I care. Yeah. <laughs> oh, every, the classics. Every Batman fan just turned off. They're like, fuck. Oh, me. yeah. They're like, unsubscribe. <laughs> Do not follow these people. This guy sucks. He doesn't know. This Batman. guy sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. You were saying. You don't remember, do you? Cause I oh, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. a cliffhanger is basically where you have an ending, but it ends in uncertainty until you tune in until the following episode or like the sequel of the yeah. movie. Same bat time, same bat channel. Exactly. So, okay. Leaving just a teaser. Why don't you sort of talk about how you got in to photography? What was your, cause I rambled and sort of went into my, story a little bit why don't you talk about like when why what made you first pick up a camera like what do you love about it and, and what do you hope to teach other people and, and stuff like that so i i picked up a camera when i first i want to say i was 11 12 years old and it was i was using my mom's kind of point uh, using my mom's point and shoot camera and i was just making dumb videos of me playing guitar dumb videos with me and my my friends and just taking you know photos and just taking photos of wherever i can where i what i thought were quote unquote artistic i attended this thing called um filmsters for a couple of years which which it was like a a summer camp where you learn how to make movies so basically there were like three different classes like there's the beginner class and you basically make a movie within a week. And then there's the intermediate class where you make one movie in two weeks. And then the um, advanced group is where you make the holy crap, big cin- cinematic looking movie within two weeks, including working weekends. You're going to different locations. Like the one advanced film I worked on, um, we shot at the Double T Diner in um, in Annapolis. Nice. And then I kind I kind of decided I wanted to be a rock star, so I kind of put the camera down for a short time. And then once things kind of fell off a little bit with my the band that I was in before I met you called Yours Ever Truly, like all of my other friends were in these other bands, and I was kind of just like there was really no, there really wasn't anybody to like play music with for a little while. So I was just like, you know, I kind of did the photography thing for a little bit. So I went on Amazon, spent 300 bucks, bought a Canon T2i beginner DSLR camera. And then me and my friend went to New York city for a day and I just started shooting some stuff. And I was just like, Oh my God, I forgot how fun this is. Hmm. And then I also took the camera to Europe in 2017, had a lot of fun with that. And then that following year, I found this guy named Peter McKinnon. The famous. Yeah, like, I think a lot of people get into photography solely because of him, and for good reason. Like, not only is he a great teacher, and he also also is a great personality. And you also learn a ton of stuff, because... A lot of stuff in Adobe I used to think was super intimidating until he like breaks it down. And I was just like, oh, it's it's that easy. Oh, okay." And then the Creative Cloud came out. I was like, oh, I just paid 10 bucks a month to get all this (laughs) software. Right. And then from there, I was just kind of like, all right, well, let me let me play around with this. And then, you know, just started shooting everything I, I could. I brought my camera with me everywhere. I used to bring my camera with me all the time to campus just in case I needed, just in case I needed to get that shot, man. <laughs> and then like, 
I started submitting some of my work to like actual professionals and then they would give me feedback of what I need, what I did well, but they would also give me feedback on what I needed to do better. And then from there, I kind of was just like, all right, let me fix this. Let me figure this out on my own. And then later on, I started working with more like models and then at my day job, I ended up meeting somebody from a radio station, showed them my Instagram, asked them, hey, I would love to work with you. And then they were like, all right, shoot us an email. And I've shot big bands like Greta Van Fleet, Hosier, and who else? Morrissey, a ton of guys. And then I ended up, um, I ended up, you know, opening up a print shop during this whole quarantine thing. And uh, people started buying my prints, so I started taking more, like, cityscape, macro shots. And then from there, it's just been, it's just been uphill. Yeah, I mean, I, I see that you had, you had prints, like, almost every week now. You've been adding new prints throughout this quarantine, which which I think is awesome. And, and you, your social media, like your Instagram, you post... Uh, a lot of really cool shots and I've been seeing that you know people have just been buying a ton of your stuff which is awesome like I, that's gotta yeah, be super man. exciting to like to know how much work goes into it and then to know that somebody thought like hey this is really this is good I want this on my wall that's that's gotta be awesome and like coming from like I'm brand new to photography but I've always been artsy I guess like I've mm-hmm. always been a musician and that's how we met each other first is through music. And, and it's the same feeling like writing a song, playing it mm-hmm. live, or at least I imagine it's the same feeling, right? So writing a song, playing it live and then standing there and singing it and having other people sing your words back to you. Like mm-hmm. the fact that somebody took the time to sit down and listen to the song uh, intently enough to learn the words is just mind blowing. Same thing where somebody sat down, looked at your work and said, you know what, that's worth my 50 bucks like that's especially now right like that's, yeah that's got to be just a killer feeling yeah man it's uh the fact that people tend to view my work as good enough that they want to hang it on their wall is so just like it's super motivating and it's very inspiring so yeah yeah i'm pretty happy about that but at the same time it's like so how what are some other ways I can do this whole thing even better? You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I think, I think the one thing a lot of people try to shy away from is when they've been doing it for so long is learning new things, especially if they have a big ego. I like (laughs) to think, I like to think that I don't have a big ego, but it kind of just depends on who you ask. Um, But yeah, I get more excited about learning new things, kind of like how we were learning how to color grade footage the past couple of days. Thank you, Maddie Hapoya. Yeah, thanks, Maddie (laughs) Hapoya. Thanks for making it so easy for us. He's like, you dumb, you dumb kids. And like, (laughs) sit down, kiddos. Let me show you some stuff. Yeah. But you mentioned it before and like, you know, YouTube is a great reference. And just oh, the, yeah. the learning, the learning component of like getting lost in YouTube and and we joke like everybody jokes about if you're in photography you know Peter McKinnon and like you mentioned before a lot of people got into it probably because of him and and I didn't get into it because of him but I have learned a ton in the last three weeks because I've been watching his videos and. And, you know, him and Maddie, and there's a couple other guys. And probably one of the things we'll talk about are like the best, you know, photography centric channels, right, to learn from. Um, And hopefully, you know, if you only know Peter, maybe we'll be able to give you some other channels that that you could follow, Um, you know, ours too. Duh. But like, yeah, absolutely. Some of the other guys um, as well, because it's always worth learning uh, new things from new people. So, um, I think today, just uh, an introduction, just to kind of get, you know, one foot out the door. This is what we're doing. This is who we are. Um, We're going to work on our first video up on YouTube this week. We've been spending like the whole week trying to work on this intro. (laughs) 
Um, oh my god! Yeah. Which, if I had more than one camera, I would have recorded me working on the camera to work on the intro because it was just a disaster. Um, oh my god! It was a nightmare. <laughs> seven seven hours in Premiere Pro trying to figure figure out like how to make it work faster without skipping, which is something Adobe like if you ever see this, like make like let's figure this out. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe it's Apple. Somebody I don't know. Um, I don't maybe know, you need man. To buy a better computer. For whatever reason, Adobe and Apple just don't get along with each other for whatever reason. <laughs> Which Apple is the get creative it. person like platform. Yeah, but capitalism. Uh, I know. Money. <laughs> um, but do you have anything else that you want to say to our to end our uh, podcast? I want to end this off saying no matter what level you are, you're more than welcome yes. to come. Um be a part of this community because whether you're a beginner or you're intermediate or you're like super professional and you just want to be part of something that kind of gets away from like your professional life, you're more than welcome to come hang out with us. And it might not just be photography that we just talk about. We talk, we could talk about tech. We could talk about movies. We could talk about music. There's a ton of things that we could totally. talk about. I, I love it. Like, I definitely don't want to pigeonhole this podcast into like, Oh, those, those guys just talk about cameras. Like there's a million people doing that. You know, you're going to get our opinions on the stuff that we use. You're going to get our opinions on, on cool new gear, maybe that you should pay attention to. But like David said, man, look, I'm brand new three weeks ago. My camera was my iPhone. So like, which is sick, by the way, we're going to do a video on that too, but like, we're going to do a whole entire (laughs) video. You don't, yeah, like you don't creating need, stuff on your iPhone, dude. I, you're a big proponent of that, I know. Um, oh, big time. But David, you you said it perfectly, man. If you are brand new, if you are a wedding photographer, if you make videos like because you just had a kid and like you you just want to document your, your kid growing up, like whatever you do with with your creative outlet, like you're welcome here. So let's learn from each other and let's let's build this community and let's get going. Yeah, absolutely. So welcome to the community. Feel free to just subscribe on YouTube, subscribe yep. to the podcast. Yep. Be You're welcome here. Be creative, think creative. That's the channel. Exactly. That's the tag. <laughs> See you, buddy. Ah.